Hi friends, welcome to another episode for DigiTalk series where we talk about digital stuffs. We have a brand new series about virtual assistants and everything that you need to know about it. Is this the career for you? Is this the opportunity you've been waiting for? How can I be one? And more. I thought of doing this because sharing is caring, but syempre para makatulong sa mga hindi afford mag-enroll for legit VA courses. Not that they are scum or they're so expensive, but if wala ka talagang budget, this is the series that will give you some of the basics that you need to know about virtual assistant. By the way, this series is chopped into parts and episodes. So let's begin with the first episode for part 1, what is a virtual assistant? So there are four things to discuss in this episode. Number 1, what is a virtual assistant? Number 2, what does a virtual assistant do? Number 3, why is there a need for a virtual assistant? And number 4, the advantage and disadvantage of being a virtual assistant. So first, we have to discuss what is a virtual assistant? Ano nga ba talaga yung virtual assistant? Bakit ba natin narinig? By the way, virtual assistant is short has a short term for VA. So when we say, or you hear someone, I'm a VA or VA, ako ngayon, that's a virtual assistant. It is a person who provides services to entrepreneurs, business owners, or influencers in a remote setup. So kahit na yung boss or clients mo are around the world or like nasa ibang parte ng mundo, you can work for them because it is a remote setup where you will just provide your service for them via online or more. So, Next natin is, what does a virtual assistant do? Ano ba talaga ginagawa ng mga VA? There's a wide scope of jobs for a VA can do. What's trending nowadays are the administrative tasks or works, social media management, social media marketing, social media ads and all, graphic designs, video editing, podcast editing, book editing or layouting an ebook, project management, e-commerce management, like you will manage a store like Etsy, Shopify, and uh, more and real estate coordinators, and sales agent, and more. So, marami tayong pwedeng gawin as VA. At ito ay um, uh, siguro one-fourth pa lang ng services na you can offer. You can also do web designing, web management, website management, and email marketing, um, data entry, data specialist, bookkeeping, like that. So, there's a, va- a wide um, scope for VA to do. Next, why is there a need for virtual assistant? Bakit ba nauso tong VA, no? San ba siya nang galing? Or like, bakit nag yung mga tao ng VA? Because entrepreneurs, business owners, or influencers value their time well. Na one good principle of millionaires yan, yung alam nila kung paano i-value yung time nila. So, they hire people to do tasks for them. So, they can focus on a larger task for their business or project. And plus, it's a lesser cost. So, mas mura yung pasahod nila sa VA compare kung mag sila ng isang tao to do the graphic design, isang tao for video editing, isang tao for for um, email marketing, which a, a good company or a growing company would do. Pero, if this is good for um, business people who just starting their their business, so they would they would hire a visual assistant for help, de ba? One good example of this is that um, a business owner like from the from America, let's say from US, um, she will open a, a craft shop about pillows or or clothing like that. So, in business siya yung gagawa ng graphic design for marketing sa social media nung, nung, nung business niya, mag na lang siya ng VA to do that para makapag-focus pa siya sa paggawa ng product itself. So, mga ganong scenario, that's why they need VAs. And many more. We will talk and discuss about that in the coming days. Next, what are the advantages of being a virtual assistant? So, gusto natin malaman to eh, kung may benefits ba yung pagiging virtual assistant. Of course, there's good side and bad sides of being a VA. Ganun naman sa kahit anong career, may good and bad side. So, the good side of being a virtual assistant is that there's a flexible time. So, mostly, talaga flexible, but... Um, we are based for like 20 hours per week if part-time, 40 hours per week pag full-time and more depending sa contract or pag-usapan nyo ng, ng client mo. But basically, it's a, in it's a flexible time manner lagi. Most or like some 
um, do offer like, I need you to work with me sa oras na gising ako kasi nga sa ibang bansa sila kung nasa Philippines tayo. So, minsan may time difference. Or sometimes, I just need you to make this job done. Bahala ka na ilang oras mo siyang gagawin basta I need this jo- job done for this due date. Ganyan. So, it's flexible thing. Then, you can work anywhere in the world. Hindi lang sa Philippines. Pwede kang, pwede kang mag-work sa La Union nabang na, di ba, nag- nagsistaycation ka doon sa Tagaytay basta dala mo yung laptop mo yung may internet access ka and all and also hindi lang limited yan sa Philippines you can work sa ibang bansa like punta ka ng uh, Japan for 3 months dali mo yung laptop mo doon ka mag work while traveling the world it's okay that's really an advantage for VAs number 3 hard work pays off and pays well so dito um, yung pagod natin, nat- napapantayan siya ng, ng sahod. No? Siguro, coming, knowing naman, kilala niyo ako kung, kung matagal na kayo sa channel ko. No? I'm a teacher before, so, yung mga pagod natin before, hindi siya nababayaran, but as a VA, it pays off. So, lahat ng pagod, or parang pag masipag ka, mas bayad ka. No? And then, plus, it's earning a dollar. It's a good thing, kasi you're earning more than um, the currency that you grew up on, ba? So, earning dollar siya. And then, uh, more opportunities for work kasi the more the skills that you know the, that you have, mas marami kang opportunities na pwedeng pasukan, ba? Hindi ka limited na like ako, teacher, teacher lang ako. It's not. Because I've learned so many skills in the past, lalo na no pandemic. I think there's more opportunities for you to work. And then, um, there's more opportunities also to learn skills. Kasi sometimes yung mga clients, they would offer, ah, hindi mo alam to, sige, um, I'm gonna provide a training for you, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So, you know, you have the knowledge how to do this software, how to do this task, and also, eh, when time comes na ayaw mo na sa boss mo, gusto mo na magkaroon another job, you learn things, you learn skill from your previous clients. So, that's a good thing, di ba? And then, more time with your family since nasa bahay ka lang or flexible ka. This is really good for moms or like moms who want to work. Hindi lang basta magkaroon ng side income eh. Gusto magtrabaho. Because this is a commitment, no? This is a responsible job. Hindi siya basta parang, hmm, kailan ko lang gusto magtrabaho dahil flexible. Hindi. You need to be committed on your clients, on your... Kasi this is also a job. This is also a work. So... Um, but but you can have more time as much as you want with your family. Pwede ngang pag mo sa maga, kain ka lang at di ka na maligo, mag-start ka na mag-work. Or like kahit nag-pap, nag-take care ka sa babies mo or what, you can work. Kasi ang kailangan mo lang naman yung laptop and internet eh. So you can work anywhere in your house or anywhere in the world or anywhere in the Philippines. So with your family. So good thing yun, ba? And ako, ito talaga yung personal na kinatutuwa ko when I become a VA because mas marami akong ipon kasi hindi ako basa-basa lumalabas, hindi ako basa-basa nagbibili ng pag nagsabi yung trabaho na, uy, pag-grab tayo, mapapag-grab ka din, hindi. But, I have more savings now than before because wala, tipid ka talaga kasi yung baon mo, yung lunch nyo sa bahay, di ba? But, then, um, marami pa tayong pag-usapan about finances in of being a BA pero yun lang yung napansin ko mas marami akong ipon ngayon kasi hindi din ako kailangan mag-travel mag-transpo or bumiyahe ng one or papunta one or pa-uwi diba? so good things yun sa VA but sabi ko nga kanina may downside din naman ng pagiging VA so number one pag walang internet wala kang trabaho so pag nawalan ka ng internet dapat may backup ka data mo or what pero our clients or from the for our clients some cases namin no very understanding sila kapag um nawawalan ng internet uh, you just have to tell them and all pero yun nga pag wala kang internet hindi ka pa talaga makapagtrabaho ba and then number 2 when dollar rate goes down salary will go down ba so bad thing yan kapag bumaba yung yung palita ng dollar no nakakalungkot but the thing is um, habang mataas naman ang palita ng dollar, you can like save a lot, ba? You can save the money. Parang ano lang yan, langgam thinking. Yung ipon ngayon, para on the rainy season, you have something to spend on. And then, mostly, number three, walang SSS, walang PhilHealth, pag-ibig, or HMO. 
now because they're they're I think they're not that familiar with with this kind of stuff kasi nga nasa ibang bansa sa pag may makita kayo pag may nag-apply kayo for this basically parang agency sila or baka third party member sila na mag-offer ng ganto so ibig sabihin may cut sila every sahod mo so binsan tatansahin niyo din yung mga ina-apply niyo pag may ganito ano good thing na may ganyan nag nagpo-provide sila ng ganyan dapat meron talaga para insured ka whatever happen pero Sempre um kung malaki naman yung sinasabi mo, ikaw na lang voluntary yung magbayad sa mga ganito if you really need that, no? So you have to think of these things too. And then number four, no physical office mates that you can talk to. Ito talaga yung isa sa mga dilemma ko nung nagsisimula kami as VA before kasi wala akong kausap masyado. So it's a lonely career, no? Kasi sa bahay ka lang, di ba? Kung uh, mag-isa ka lang, kung YOLO ka lang lagi, parang nakakalungkot kasi wala ka nakakausap. Not like yung sanay tayo sa pumapasok sa office and then um, makita mo kagad yung co-office mate mo, yung co-workmate mo, di ba? Pwede mo kachikahin or anytime, share ka ng kung ano-ano. Pero dito as VA, dahil laptop lang yung yung nakakasama mo araw-araw, so medyo nakakalungkot siya. But, if Um, this is also a good thing sometimes for me because I have to spend more time with my family kahit wala akong office mate na kausap. Sometimes also, may naka-work ako before dahil nga ganito yung setup, wala kang physical office mate. Kami yung mga VA na nasa Philippines, nag-video call kami habang nagtatrabaho. Kasi nga, um, mas nakaka-encourage mag-work kapag may nakakausap ka na alam din yung trabaho ang ginagawa nyo. So, That's the disadvantage of uh, virtual assistant. But compare naman sa mga advantages, no, mas marami pa rin naman yung advantage kasi sa disadvantage. So I think that's it. The first episode for the part one, no. Nati ko lang kasi gusto ko make lang siya very quick and you have more time to watch other the vid- other videos. So I think I prepared four. For this part one, which is what is a virtual assistant? Can I be a virtual assistant? What do I need as a VA? And what is my niche as a VA? So, kung gusto niyo matuto regarding this, stay tuned lang and uh, pag-usapan pa natin sa mga susunod na videos. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And see you on the next videos. Bye.